What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Svensson and you are watching another episode of I Trade Crypto. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Chainlink. Just a quick video about Chainlink. I've been talking about Chainlink for over a year now and I haven't actually dedicated an entire video to Chainlink. And I think it's about time that I do that. You know, it's one of the few altcoins that I actually care about and that I actually think has some real potential. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Chainlink. I'm gonna to explain to you guys what I understand about the project. And, uh, you know, we're gonna be talking about if it's a good time to buy Chainlink. So first off, we gotta understand smart contracts. A smart contract is essentially a wallet, except instead of being controlled by a private key, it is controlled by a piece of code. That's pretty much the simplest explanation you can give to somebody in, ter um, in terms of trying to explain what a smart contract is. A wallet is controlled by the private key, right? Although uh, everything you do in a wallet is controlled by the private key. For a smart contract, everything that happens within the contract is controlled by the code, right? So it's essentially a wallet, and instead of a private key controlling it, it's a code. That's the basic explanation for a smart contract, but what, what that means is essentially a smart contract is really not smart. You know, they're, they're called smart contracts, but they're not actually smart because they can't do anything other than what, what's written in that code, right? So if you put, you know, Ethereum into a smart contract, it's gonna execute the code that's in there and spit out the same result every time, right? That's what a smart contract is. It executes it executes the code that's written and it gives you your result every time. That's what it'll do. Now, Chainlink is allowing those smart contracts to interact with outside data. So when you imagine your smart contract, instead of it just being a set piece of code, what you can now do with Chainlink is in that smart contract, add in a variable that is linked to outside data, real-time data, that can you know change the, the code, change the contract, so that smart contracts actually can change based on real-world events and they become smart, right? So in my opinion, right now, smart contracts are not actually smart. They're pretty much dead. It's just a set piece of code. It's like a vending machine. If you know what a vending machine is, where you put money in and then your food comes out or your drink comes out, that's basically what a smart contract is right now. But Chainlink is allowing smart contracts to interact with real data with data in real time in the real world so smart contracts can change based on real world events and real world data they're you know thus making them actual smart contracts that is how smart contracts can actually become smart and actually function in the real world so that is guys that's essentially what Chainlink is i hope i explained that correctly i'm trying to give you guys the simplest and easiest um, explanation to understand so a smart contract is basically a wallet, except it's not controlled by a private key, it's controlled by a piece of code. And Chainlink allows that piece of code to interact with outside data. So what's ever written in that code can actually change based on things that are, you know, based on what it's communicating with, a trusted source of information that it's communicating with. Chainlink is really revolutionizing smart contracts, guys. It's really changing the game here. Um, smart contracts are now becoming smart because of Chainlink. So I hope you guys all understood that. Uh, I think I think that's probably the simplest and best explanation anybody could really give you. Um, you know, in, you know, if you're you know, in terms of trying to understand what this all is. And there's also there's also rumors about Chainlink partnering with other blockchains and so on and so forth. I'm not going to get into the rumors, guys. You know, I'm I'm only going to tell you guys when I know for a fact that something's happening. So let's just move on. Let's go ahead and look at the chart here. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering. Should I buy Chainlink, all right? That's what we're gonna talk about. Should you buy Chainlink? Should you buy Chainlink? That is what this video is really about. So right now, if you're looking at the chart, obviously the price, I mean, the, it's doing very well price-wise. Um, and there's some partnerships, you know, some rumors about some partnerships. So that's all great. That's probably why the price is going up. The CEO of Oracle is actually investing in Chainlink as well. I got into Chainlink about a year ago. Um, and I've sort of just I sort of just put it on some exchanges and forgot about it on purpose because I actually you know I actually believe in the project so I kind of just put the chain link away and basically just forgot about it so you know it's been good guys you know making some profits there's a lot of you out there who you know some of you took my advice some of you got into chain link on your own and that's great we're all profiting right now I think Bitcoin as you guys all know I think Bitcoin is going to drop in price uh, pretty significantly and if that does happen. I'm pretty certain that Chainlink will also drop in price with Bitcoin along with pretty much every other altcoin. Overall, I think there's gonna be another opportunity for you guys to get into this at a better price. Um, but you know, you never know, I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe there's some major partnership that happens and we see a blue sky breakout. If you guys don't know what a blue sky breakout is, it's when you break 
all historical resistance. And basically, if you break all historical resistance and the price is going into uncharted territories, it's called a blue sky breakout. And essentially what that means is there's no telling where the price is going to stop, right? Keep an eye on Chainlink as a project. It's a fantastic project. It is, in fact, revolutionizing smart contracts and making smart contracts smart, actually turning smart contracts into smart contracts. So this industry is still very new. There's a lot of things to be developed. Chainlink could be outcompeted at some point. It's a, potentially, it is a good long-term investment, but I do have a Patreon, and every month I release exclusive content. Uh, in a few days, we're coming up on the Q&A video. I'm letting my patrons ask me any questions, and I will give them an answer for every question they ask. So if you are interested in getting exclusive, extra content from me, the link is in the description for my Patreon, and you would, you know, you would get extra content from me while also supporting and donating to the channel. And it's highly appreciated, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button so you know when I go live. And I will see you all in the next video.